<laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. In honor of this spooky costume holiday, we have set out to determine what is the greatest horror movie franchise of all time. We have a certain set of criteria that determines what films are eligible for this competition. There must be at least three films in the franchise, and they must include either ghosts, demons, zombies, serial killers, or the supernatural. And we've ranked them according to total box office gross adjusted for inflation. And we have an awesome panel of horror heads and movie fanatics to help us with this grand endeavor. First, oh, an old friend of the show. He's the founder of iMockery.com and uh, he's the creator of A Bobo's Big Adventure. Welcome back to the show, Roger Barr. Good to see you, Al. Oh, whoa. <laughs> and this gentleman, oh, he's uh, an actor, a bon vivant, a renaissance man. You've seen him in Compliance, Cheap Thrills, Captain America, and he's recently uh, gone into post-production on his feature directorial debut. Very impressive. Welcome back to the show, Pat Healy. Thank you. Thank you, Hal. And it's his first time on the show, but it's not his first time in the hallways of Screen Junkies. He's all over SJ+, and he writes and researches movie fights. Welcome to the show, Lon Harris. Hey, thanks for having me, Hal. Gentlemen, there are 16 films ranked 1 to 16. We have them matched up and seated 1 verse 16, 2 verse 15, etc. Are you ready? to go down into yeah. the basement and figure this out. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> All right, the first matchup, our number one seed, The Exorcist, versus the number 16 seed, Hellraiser, Roger Barr. I gotta go with Hellraiser on this one, actually, because uh, we're talking about franchise versus a single film. Wow. Okay, you just picked the 16 seed over the one seed. Did we just buy a ticket to Upset City? I think there's nine Hellraiser movies, if I'm correct. They're all on Netflix. I hadn't seen any of them since the first one when it came out in the 80s, and I saw them all last year, and none of them are good. Uh, <laughs> the Exorcist is, a, I'm sorry, anyone involved. Yes. I, I mean, I like the first one, I should say. Exorcist 2 is a great, bizarre, weird movie. I like that film, and I also like Exorcist 3 quite a bit, too. They don't come anywhere near close to being as good as The Exorcist, which is one of the greatest movies ever made, but I would have to go with The Exorcist. Boom! We are locked up at 1-1. Lon Harris, you are the deciding vote. Yeah, I think I gotta break the time this one with Hellraiser. I, I love the original Exorcist. I agree. It's maybe the greatest horror movie ever. But, man, Exorcist 2, the heretic, just kills the average of that whole franchise. It's just so, such a slog. And like, So, again, you're choice is? Hellraiser. I'm going Hellraiser. Wow! In a stunning upset. Hellraiser. Moving on to the second round. The number nine seed, Poltergeist, against the number eight seed, Paranormal Activity. As weak as the sequels are in a lot of cases, I think you gotta go Poltergeist on this one just for that original film Poltergeist. It was so trailblazing. That movie is so memorable to me that blows away the entire Paranormal Activity franchise. Bam! 1-0 Poltergeist. Let's come around to Roger Barr. Oh yeah, uh, I'm all about Poltergeist. I'm a huge fan of the, the original three films. Pat, your vote is moot because they both voted for can Poltergeist. Can I talk about it anyway? No, you cannot. Yes, you can. Poltergeist is my yes. favorite horror movie of all time. Oh, wow. So it's Poltergeist in a clean sweep. You guys didn't really say anything nice about Paranormal Activity, so I will right now. They were very cheap to make those films. Okay, our next first round matchup, Halloween versus the Living Dead films. I'd like to start with Pat Healy. That's a tough one. Yeah, man. The original Halloween is a classic. And the second one is, is good, too. The third one I love. It's a, a cult classic. It's finally people are recognizing it. Mm -hmm. I don't like any of them, I don't think, after that. I think just uh, there's more movies that are better in the Living Dead category. So I'd have to go with the Living Dead. So it's 1-0 Living Dead. Roger Barr. I gotta go Halloween. The reason being is I've just watched them more over the years. They're my, you know, Halloween season popcorn. Like, I come back and watch the marathons of them on AMC every year and all. I think overall, I've definitely watched Halloween a lot more. Gotcha, all tied up. Halloween versus the Living Dead films, Lon Harris. Wow, this one is really, really tough, but... To me, like the Living Dead Romero films are, that's that's the backbone. That's the blueprint of modern horror. I think I gotta go uh, Living Dead Romero. Unbelievable, huge upset. The number 13 seed, The Living Dead, knocking off Halloween. Let's talk about our number five seed, The Scream franchise, versus the number 12 seed, 
child's play. I guess I'd give the advantage to Scream because people did go absolutely bonkers over it. Chucky, I mean, you know, he's he's a lot of fun. It's a funny movie. Uh, I've always wanted to see Chucky versus Leprechaun. I oh, yeah. can't believe Freddy versus Jason happened, but that one didn't. One O oh, Scream. Thank you, sir. Pat Healy. I'm gonna profess my ignorance a little bit here. I think I've only seen the first two Scream movies, which I like, and uh, the seen several of the child's play movies and and some of those chucky movies are unwatchable so yeah. i would have to say scream as well bam there you go scream moving on sorry chucky you sucky all right let's move on to the other side of the bracket we're still in the first round friday the 13th our number two seed versus our number 15 seed the evil dead I think this one's maybe the easiest, definitely that we've had so far, because it's Evil Dead all day for me. I mean, Friday the 13th, most of those movies are not memorable. Whereas Evil Dead, every single Evil Dead movie, there's only been four, but they're all great, and, and three of them are classics. Bam, 1-0, The Evil Dead. Let's come around to Roger. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I love, absolutely love both series. But Friday the 13th, it's the perfect movie marathon franchise, I think. It really is. 1-1. One, one. We go to Pat Healy to break this tie. I kind of, I go with Lon. I, I think there are some fun things in those Friday the 13th movies, but I don't think I would call any of them a, a good movie. I mean, I enjoy the third one maybe the, the, the most. Evil Dead 2 is life-changing movie for me when oh, I saw that uh, yeah. that I never saw anything the same again this may have you out there sharpening your machetes but the number 15 seed Evil Dead has knocked off the number two seed Friday the 13th the number 10 seed Texas Chainsaw Massacre versus the number seven seed the Saw franchise I would have to say Texas Chainsaw Massacre for this while the fourth film I'm not crazy about it they've done some good reboots of the series uh, mm -hmm. that were a lot of fun and the original one it's another absolute classic 1-0 Texas Chainsaw Pat Healy yeah I would have to agree I I, I think Tobe Hooper is absolutely one of the masters of horror, and just the first movie alone, it stands alone as a, as a classic, so I'd have to go with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That means it's 2-0, Texas Chainsaw Massacre moves on. Can we say that no one saw that coming? I think we just did. Oh. All right, ooh, another barn burner. The number three seed, Nightmare on Elm Street, versus the number 14 seed, Insidious. Poor Insidious. Uh, maybe if Insidious was up against Saw, it would have had a chance, but in this one, no chance. You gotta go with Nightmare and Freddy Krueger, one of the, if not the most iconic villain in modern horror. One, two, Freddy's coming for Insidious, Roger Barr. I am ready for Freddy, Hell. Bam, that's it. Nightmare on Elm Street, moving on. Here's the final matchup of the first round, featuring the number 11 seed, Final Destination, versus the number six seed, Psycho. I am a huge fan of the Final Destination movies. Those I've seen multiple times. As hard as it is to say, I mean, Psycho is one of the, my favorite films of all time, but as a franchise, I'd have to say Final Destination. Final Destination, 1-0 over Six Seed Psycho. Lon. I think I gotta go Psycho on this. I, I really think Psycho 2 is a very, it's weird, but it is a really strong movie considering it came 22 years later and it's like 80s and it's in color it should be atrociously horrible and it, it's not it actually takes a really interesting twist on Norman 3 is like and for the TV movie I haven't yeah. really seen recently but I think just on the strength of those first two gotta go psycho we are locked up at 1-1 Roger Barr you didn't need sequels to, to Psycho you don't need any of those sequels at all uh, it's fine as a standalone film and we're talking about franchises yes. here the Final Destination films they're just so much fun so Final Destination. That's such a great point about Psycho being such a standalone film versus this franchise. That really sums it up for me. And Final Destination, Destination, second round. All right, round two. Our number 16 seed, a Cinderella, Hellraiser versus the number nine seed, Poltergeist. Pat Healy. Poltergeist. Boom. Lon Harris. Let's keep it competitive. Uh, I think I'm going Hellraiser on this one. I think I go Hellraiser. Roger Barr decides the fate of these two films. The Hellraiser series, I've definitely watched them more, but it introduced this fun new villain that was unlike anything else. The first three films, I just, they're some of my favorites. Hellraiser will be raising hell in the next round. Our next Elite Eight matchup, the Living Dead films versus the Scream franchise. I don't know how you don't go with Romero and the Living Dead. I mean, Night of the Living Dead, a foundational movie. Dawn of the Dead, one of the great sort of satires in all of horror. Like, those are the superior movies. I mean, Scream is fun, and it was great, like a new twist on slasher movies, but I don't think they're on the same level, really. Bam, 1-0, Living Dead. Let's go to Roger. 
Uh, I'm in agreement. Yeah, Living Dead, uh, it, they're just, they're on such a higher level. Living Dead, living to see the next round. Let's go to the other side of the bracket. The Evil Dead versus Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I would have to go with The Evil Dead. I think those are three really great solid movies. And I think the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a classic and the second is fun. And then after that, it's a little wishy-washy. Whereas those first three Evil Dead, especially the second one, I mean, just that one alone is one of the greatest. So I'd have to say Evil Dead. Sure. Boom. Evil Dead 1-0. Roger Barr. Uh, I agree about Evil Dead. If we're looking at it as a franchise, I think Texas Chainsaw had some of the worst sequels compared to Evil Dead. That's 2-0 for the Evil Dead. It is moving on. Ooh, this next one. Nightmare on Elm Street versus Final Destination. I think I gotta go Final Destination because there, there's a lot of the, I, I know there's a lot of the Freddy movies that I don't really like. Whereas I don't think there's a really bum Final Destination movie. There isn't one that pulls down the overall average. So I think I gotta go with that even though it kills me because I love those original Freddy movies. Final Destination 1. Oh, Roger, you looked like him like he grew wings when he yeah, mentioned like that. Yeah, like, me in the heart. I just invaded your dreams <laughs> yeah. and slashed you. So, Roger, talk to us. No, I'm, I'm a total Fred head. Freddy is, <laughs> Freddy is my all-time favorite horror movie killer. There's no one like him. He has the most iconic horror movie weapon ever with the bladed glove. So, it's 1-1. One, one. Elm Street, absolutely. Elm Street? Elm Street, without a doubt. Boom. Nightmare on Elm Street 1, Final Destination 1. Pat Healy decides this battle. Nightmare on Elm Street versus Final Destination. The character of Freddy Krueger, there isn't a character that's that iconic and that great and that evolving in the Final Destination movie. So that's a really tough choice, but it comes down to, to being the character of Freddy Krueger. So I would have to say the Elm Street movies. Boom, there you go, Nightmare on Elm People Street. People know how much I love the Final Destination movies. <laughs> Three, four, better open the door to the next round for Nightmare on Elm Street. Our final four is set. The number 16 seed Hellraiser against the number 13 seed Living Dead, Pat Healy. Well, I, it's no secret that I'm no great fan of the Hellraiser movies. There's no comparison between that series and the Living Dead series. I mean, those movies are classics. All right. Living Dead. 1-0, Living Dead. Roger Barr. I have to agree. Uh, the Living Dead ones, I think that series is far greater when you look at it as a whole. Yeah, Living Dead moving on. Lon, you agree? I 100% agree. Clean sweep. Living Dead going to the finals. Our next final four matchup, number 15 seed, The Evil Dead, versus the number three seed, Nightmare on Elm Street, Roger This Barr. just hurts, this hurts. Uh, it's trying to choose between your two favorite kids or something like oh, that. Oh you know? man, I wish uh, it was that easy. I have to go with Freddy. The Elm Street series introduced something completely different. It's killing people in their dreams. There's just nothing like it out there, and that's why they've held up so well over the years. As much as I love Evil Dead, I, I gotta go Elm Street. One oh, will it be sweet dreams for Nightmare? We'll find out. Lon Harris. Uh, it's interesting because these are both like series that started really serious and then became jokier and funnier over time. So it's interesting to compare them. But I, I think I still have to go Evil Dead, if only because when it became jokier, it's funnier. And to have it still be so successful and to still maintain that same quality. So yeah, I think I got to go Evil Dead. Sam Raimi. We are all locked up at 1-1. And this might be the most exciting moment on the internet where Pat Healy Again. breaks... This Yet tie. Again. Evil Dead, Nightmare on Elm Street, sir. It's tough. If I were to say if I liked Evil Dead 2 or the Nightmare or Nightmare on Elm Street better, I would have to say Evil Dead 2. But as a franchise, I have to go with Freddy. Ladies and gentlemen, the finals are set. We're about to determine the greatest horror franchise of all time. And we have number three, Nightmare on Elm Street versus number 13, the Living Dead franchise. Oh, we've left a wake of blood, bodies, chainsaws, machetes behind us. But it was all for this moment right here. Nightmare versus Living Dead, Pat Healy. Tough one. Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead and those other very, very good movies, including the remake, are superb movies of any genre. So as much as I love Freddy and I love uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and I, I do like all of them, with the exception of the remake, I gotta go with the Living Dead. 1-0 Living Dead films. Roger Barr. Elm Street films are just so important to me. It's one of the earliest horror movies I ever saw. Freddy Krueger himself, it's such an easy character to like. There are so many moments in those series that I, I just look back on and laugh and love. 
and they mean so much. Whereas the Dead series, they're, they're excellent. I, I love them, but there's no like central character that everyone re really remembers. So I gotta go Elm Street. Wow, we are all locked up at 1-1. One, one. Determining the greatest horror movie franchise of all time, Lon Harris, talk to us. Well, I, I, uh, I've been down on Freddy this whole time. It sounds like I really hate that franchise, and I don't, but I'm afraid uh, Freddy's dead because I gotta pick uh, the Living Dead movies, giving it to George Romero. We have crowned our champion, doused them in blood like Carrie on prom night. It is George Romero's Living Dead. The master of zombie horror has taken it. Guys, what an emotional journey it was. What did you think about their choices? What, in your estimation, is the greatest horror franchise of all time? And also, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Let us know in the comments section below. We wanna know. I wanna thank this awesome panel. You guys really brought it today. Roger Barr, thank you, sir. Thanks, buddy. Pat Healy, thanks for being here. And Lon Harris, thank you for coming across the hall and being on the Screen <laughs> Junkie Show. What a pleasure to be here. <laughs> oh, great having you, man. And thank you for watching. I'm Hal Rudnick. Hit me up on Twitter. Happy Halloween, bye-bye. Suit up for a heartwarming holiday classic full of incredible animation, amazing songs, and haunting visuals that makes every emo kid feel special and unique, even though they're all in love with the same movie. Aww.